Yeah, my first guest out, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. He's one of the cleverest and, more importantly, funniest comics in the country. Have a look at him at work. Here he is, Mr. Watts Noble. Yes, anyway, I am aware of just how buffy my hair's got, by the way. It's insane, isn't it? You know what somebody shouted at me recently? They went, he goes, do you know what you look like? And I've had every possible heckle you could imagine, like, with my hair, right? And I went, go on then, right? And this guy, see if you agree. He went, you look like an anorexic hurley off of Lost. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Which is quite scary, you know. Yes, it does, you know. You can see a few people who don't watch Lost going, I don't know who that is. But you watch it and you'll go, you go, blimey, doesn't that fella there look like a fat Ross? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ross Noble, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ross, great to see you again. Now, now. It's nice to be here. Let me just check. Someone told oh, me that. Oh, hello. Uh, That's got some polish on it. Yeah, we shined it up for I you. Thought I, I thought I'd... I thought I'd... to discourage people doing it's that. Like, <laughs> That's a health and safety nightmare, well, really. Uh, are you... Uh, are I'm you... going to continue to do that so it messes up your continuity oh, yeah. so you can't edit anything. Well, then we just have to, we'll have to... Edit, we'll have to take you out completely then, that Ross. Good. <laughs> yeah. But you hey. already got me in the green room, so it'll we just could... be like, here's Ross Noble, and then he just never showed up. We'll pretend he's <laughs> just the, the bloke out of Lost, like yeah. you were saying. You um, can't do. Yeah, sorry. Ross, will you please stop that before no, I have to lovely. come over? Look, listen, let's be honest, Jonathan. The show's coming to an end. That desk's probably going to go in a skip. Who cares? Who cares? Doesn't matter. All of this. Look at it. Come on. Come on. Look at this thing. Yeah, let's trash it. Can we pull that off? Don't more? trash the... <laughs> that microphone. You sit, you, you sit down. Matter. You it's sit down or I'll pull your hair. Sit the, down. Uh, sit down. No, hold it. I thought you'd be calm. I, I, I thought you'd be calm tonight because I heard you had I flu. I love your interview. That's not a brilliant. You never get Parkinson doing that. <laughs> sit down. Sit. Sit. <laughs> I've watched this show. It's been on for years. Has that and that you? thing there has bothered. I sit at home and I go, what's he got? That big bubble thing. <laughs> it's like some kind of open heart surgery is going to happen. <laughs> and it's just got, you know what we'll do? We'll just get one of the organs, one of the uh, one of the heart. We'll put it in a big jar and have it floating around in case you had a fat person on. A big <laughs> fat guest that could at any minute just blah, and you just go quickly. I'll get my emergency heart and just <laughs> and it, got it like that. And then you perform open heart surgery on your shiny slab. <laughs> uh, so are you, are you, are you got, can I have the puffs when it's finished? No. I've told you before, don't just accept no. the first no. offer. No. 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 Like the options. <laughs> you see, like, what, would, like, you, the, what the, would you do with them? Well, I'll tell you what I'd do with them. <laughs> I would get rid of my iPod and I'd get them to run behind me singing. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go out for a lovely job. I mean, obviously, instead of that piano, you'd have to get one of those. It was a 1980s sort of synthesizer keyboard. Yeah, piano. A key tar. A key tar. A key tar. Obviously, it'd be a bit tricky if I was running through a park and I had four homosexual men running after me. <laughs> <laughs> it might look a bit weird, That's but uh, weird. yeah. Do you want to come, come and live Absolutely. with me in my house? And I'll just, every time a mate comes round, I'll see you sit down on the couch there and you can just sing them on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> brilliant. Don't put them in the skip. Don't put them in the skip with this. <laughs> so that's the look at the poor little faces. Look you at their lovely faces. Guys, you don't, just, don't you... worry. Although you would be putting the skip before the desk, no one's going in the skip. Okay? <laughs> you know, if, if you meet these lads in the street, they're wearing those t shirts all the time. Yeah. <laughs> all the time. Uh, you, you know what? What's so lovely is you haven't been called lads for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're lads. Ross, Ross, to Ross, me, they're lads. Ross, just what? Relax. Chill no, it's fine. Right. What I'm are you? Myself. You must be. Can you imagine yeah. living with Ross the, Noble? Yeah. Are you like this all yes. the time? Imagine it, boys, because you're going to be doing <laughs> it. Yeah. 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 Uh, in fact, in fact, oh, I'll tell, exactly, oh, tell you exactly what's going to happen. What's I'm going to take this couch and I'm going to take them <laughs> and I'm just going to build it up well, and we're going to live in well, a big showbiz okay, well, world and I'm going to invite heart patients that have got problems. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Can I just say how, you know, you've no, actually... You can't just you've say no, you've upset me. 
I've upset you. Well, because you, you're taking well, the desk. You're well, taking the guys. I'm taking the guys? What about me? Well, why didn't you keep doing the show? Well, why did you not invite me around your house? Because the show's moved there from the sound of things. Well, <laughs> let's do that. You we... sit there. I'll sit there. You sit there. No, I'm, I'm not a street... I'm no, not a street place you get to. <laughs> I love, the fact, I love the idea that people are just tuning in now and it's just you and I sat there going... <sighs> <laughs> but you know what, though? With your looks and my looks, we would make good professional wrestlers, I think. Oh, let's do it! I could see you know. us doing that, getting the mask on, going out... What would your wrestling name be? Uh, I would be White Pudding. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, who, who, what would you be? Well, this is going to sound wrong. Yeah. Well, do you remember Wimpy used to do a, a curved sausage? The Cumberland? No, the Bender. I'd be the bender. <laughs> oh, yes. That's what I'd like yeah. to call myself, but people would get the wrong end of the stick. No, but that's fine, cos then now, when people shout at you in the street, uh, okay, you'd go, that's cos I'm a wrestler. <laughs> With this, now, I feel like a pirate that's fallen foul of health and safety. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Oh, Jim lad, I want myself a big hook, but you will have to have it padded. <laughs> in case... <laughs> just, uh, oh, OK. I tell you what, no. oh, <laughs> I'd be a scurvy dog, and instead of sailing the seven seas, I like to do massage. <laughs> I do. I like to put it right. on the other pirate members. You know what? And make them what? You, you know what's so sad is, why did I bother spending what? even five minutes today writing some questions? Well, it's not... <laughs> Somewhere. Look at this. What is that? Bloody blah, 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 blah. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. No, what. anywhere in the question I put, try and punch him while under the desk. <laughs> Not like that. Yeah, but you so. can go for it. Do you want to. I'll tell you what. Do I if, what? If you want to have another go at me later on <laughs> as we chat, right? I but, think I came out on top. Well, oh, it's good. Don't make me That's kick fine. your ass again. <laughs> the, um, well, I tell you what, do you want to practice by punching this martial arts? No, I do not need to practice. <laughs> Come on, punch, You've wrecked punch. a perfectly good chair there. Yeah, you were going to take that home. I keep, when going, I keep reaching to put my arm down. It's like, <laughs> that'd, be great. that'd be great if they didn't fix it. And you literally, <laughs> the next guest came out and you went, so anyway, oh. <laughs> disappeared. Yeah. Now, right, yes. have you have ever I? had the chance of seeing Ross Noble live? If you haven't, <laughs> then you have missed the treat because this kind of business, not actual fighting with people, but this kind of wild <laughs> improvisational stuff is what Ross does better than anyone else. Thank you very much. Do you write material or do you just go out and wing it? The, uh, no, every night I just uh, find somebody in the audience and punch them. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, you know what, I just kind of, it's more fun, isn't it, just to kind of see what happens, really. But you must have an idea what you're going to do. You must have a kind of structure to the evening. No, but what, what happens is I think you you can kind of have an idea of what you want, or you can just that in life. That's the best way to be. Yeah, just relax. Kind of, Go with it. Just yeah, Go just you know. Like I mean, sometimes it does get out of control, like fighting people on telly. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, like I did this gig, right? You mentioned latitude. Your yeah. kids are going to latitude yes, festival. They are. The uh, I was doing the latitude festival, and uh, I thought it'd be a bit of a laugh. Uh, there was a, a lot of vegan in a lot of vegan stalls, you yes. know. And I, oh, I wanted a sausage roll. Yeah. You know, when you just the more you see vegan, vegan, you go sausage roll. And it, so I said to the audience, I went for a bit of a laugh. Let's just all go out now. There's about three thousand people in the audience. Yeah. I said, let's form a queue at the vegan stall, and then the first person so it snakes right off. And the first person just goes, 
excuse me, mate, got any sausage rolls? <laughs> no, it's vegan. No. Oh. And then move off. And then the next person, excuse me, mate, got any sausage rolls, right? And the, and so the a audience, conga line of so, sausage-hungry yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the, so the audience all went, yeah, let's do it, because they were clearly depri yeah. deprived of me. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so I said, let's do it. So I said, exactly that, let's lead a conga. Let's go out of this tent and let's have a, a conga down there and we'll, you know, we'll go up and do... The trouble is, I don't know if you've ever led a conga that's uh, over... 2,999 people. It, it's sort of people don't adhere to the usual conga rules. Yeah. You know, traditionally. So what were they doing? It's, well, what happened was I started to conga out of the tent, and everyone was, you know, everyone's congregated. But people were like, I want to do it. I want to join the queue. Yeah. So I started conga, and then we kind of we went off around the festival site, and I looked around, and instead of the traditional single file conga scenario, yeah. it was about 100, 200 wide. <laughs> and, and the mass, as we were, as I was conga, it turned into a bit of a, and I was on a wave of people just going, <laughs> <laughs> and, this, and he starts picking up, and I was at this spot, I'm swept along, right? But the worst thing is, is we were going at such speed, I could see the vegan tent. <laughs> and I'm thinking, if I don't slow this down, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. provide some sort of yeah. stopping mechanism, we're going to hit this thing at some it. speed, right? Yeah. So I turned quickly, right? <laughs> well, of course, they all turned with me, right? So now, now we're just... And, I'm, and I can't slow it down, cos the weight of the... And more people now are there's just... A lot of people. They're just standing around watching music and they go, oh, look, there's 3,000 people. Let's join them! <laughs> and also, so now, right, we've got... And I'm, I'm looking for somewhere to go, cos there's, there's things everywhere. And at one point, right, there was, like, a jazz fusion band, right, on this stage. <laughs> and they were all like... <laughs> and I came running across... It was quite a Ponzi festival, right? Yeah. And there's a guy and he was sat there and he was drinking wine and he had some cheese and biscuits like that, right? And he just turned and looked and he just sees me at the front of this, <laughs> this wave of just <laughs> people flying <laughs> down, right? And we came through, right? We hit that vegan stand like you wouldn't believe the thing rocked backwards like that. <laughs> and instead of people forming a line, right, this mob of 3,000 people just start going, Sausage <laughs> drop! Sausage <laughs> drop! Sausage <laughs> drop! Sausage <laughs> drop! <laughs> right? <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> That's a horrible thing to do. <laughs> but the best thing was... Poor right? vegan. The best thing about this was they all surrounded him and the thing starts rocking and this poor vegan is just standing there and he just goes, I don't know what you want. Just a drop, just a drop. But, you know, it's that, so why not, you know, live why your not? life, why not? Why not it's... terrorise a vegan? Yeah, it's, got, it's got to be done. Well, so let me say, you've just come out from Australia. The yes. reason why I'll ask you is I've never been to Australia. Have you not? No, and I've often this thought show, about going. This show's on there I've now. never been to Australia. Yeah, so they yeah, tell me, I've yeah, never been yeah. there. And You're I think... God. May you worship as a god <laughs> in the street. Is Australia... This... Is it a lovely place to go? It's an amazing place. Would I enjoy place. it? Where should I go? And, indeed, why have you then come back from it? Well, uh, oh, right. I'll answer your question, the four-part question you've asked, <laughs> in a four-part answer. Well, I had a gap. I had to get some interview out of you. <laughs> I had to get in quickly. You just read all the questions down. <laughs> so, Ross, you had an amusing experience as a child. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your latest DVD. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the way to conduct an interview. No, it isn't. You read out a list of questions and then just go off and have a thing. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, it, no, it's an amazing place. It's just... It's so, Whereabouts were you? Uh, I was in, well, uh, gigging all over. But no, was, no, where did you live, though? I lived uh, just outside Melbourne. Uh, in, in, uh, out in the country. I decided to become some kind of farmer, so I bought this ranch. I was, yeah, no, because I'm the, you know... I'm Farming the type, yeah, 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 look at me. I've, uh, I've got farmer written all over me. <laughs> yeah, it was the oddest tattoo they'd ever yeah. given. The, um, I bought this farm, and I had this ranch, and I was out there, and then there was a big bushfire, and it all burst into flames. So, you and, literally, you lost your house? Yeah, right? yeah, my yeah. house and everything I owned and, and the whole old. lot, and uh, it was pretty... I, you know what I learned, right? If, if you do and God forbid this ever happens to you, literally lose everything you have, right? Don't try and lift your wife's spirit, right, afterwards, when you're standing in the rubble and everything. And, <laughs> and don't do this. Don't turn to your wife and go, you do realise that, strictly speaking, this now means I'm sleeping with a homeless woman. <laughs> right? it doesn't, like, no, funny, yes. Uh, yes yeah. Appropriate, not so No, much. not at the time. So, so yeah, yeah. So, we, uh, so, so we decided to... Uh, we thought, oh, where should we live? I don't know. Somewhere that doesn't burst into flames. Yeah, yeah. Well, so we moved. So you've moved we back moved, here to the UK. Yeah, just moved back. All right, but you so, loved Australia. Cause yeah. I know, uh, now what's this? You went. To, you, I mean, obviously you toured. There, you did comedy there. Yeah. But with your bike tour, yeah. this Australian trip you made, which is, which is out now. Yeah, on DVD. Okay, so is that, and, and, uh, Okay, uh, this was <laughs> this was to go on tour, or you just wanted to see the country and film it? What was no, it? no. I was I was uh, 
I do all as many of my. Are you watching? Yeah, oh, I see you're looking at the thing. A nice picture. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly thought that one of your producers had donned lycra and some kind of wrestling mask and was going. <laughs> 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 I'd be ready. I, you know what? I'm going to come round. I'm going to wait for about a month and I'm going to come round to your house late at night, dressed as a wrestler, and break in and see if I can have my way with you. <laughs> in a wrestling yeah, manner. But you know what would happen? You'd be creeping in and then you'd turn the lights on and I'd already be there waiting, <laughs> dressed as a wrestler. <laughs> ah, Jonathan, you have arrived. I've been expecting you <laughs> for a month. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? If I opened a cupboard and you jumped out. Not now, Jonathan! <laughs> the, uh, it's kind of gone. Uh, it's got a bit dreadful. <laughs> you're not well, are you? No, 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 no. It's never a good sign when you're doing an interview and you actually rub your no, eyes I'm as if to go. Why no, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. The... I know. I know you'd love us to show us a clip, and there's no way of me getting the show in no, a clip because show, as soon as you don't want to show a clip, no, of fine, people, people would like to see your. No, wouldn't you like to see a bit no. of your? Okay. Okay. They've got everything in this medical display. There's an actual antique iron lung just here, and uh, you can see they've got the uh, the mock-up of an actual hospital situation there. They're uh, operating on somebody, and uh, for some reason, another woman's just been left unattended just in the corner of the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then once they're out of the actual operating theatre, they'll be sent through to the ward where they'll meet the king of all doctors. And it's my, I love this. I just think this is the greatest thing of all time. The doctor presiding over this ward is a waxwork of Charles Bronson. <laughs> is that Charles Bronson? Yes. It is. it is. I knew it was Charles Bronson, yeah. because when I yeah. saw it, I yeah. couldn't quite... Yeah, <laughs> the doctor's Charles Bronson. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah, not a worry. We shall spread the word of the castle throughout the land. Good on you, sir. Oh, yes. Yeah. But he seems like a genuine eccentric. Yeah. That... That bloke... That bloke there, it's Kral uh, Castle. He's called Keith Rawl. And he bought a, 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 this place here, he bought a potato farm in Australia and decided he wanted to be a king and he built the castle. And, but, but he can't, like, he hasn't got the money to buy proper exhibits for the thing. So he just gets waxworks. He got this waxwork of Charles Bronson <laughs> and dressed him as a doctor and said it was a medieval medical display. So it's open to the public? Is that what it yeah, is? It's like yeah, an attraction? It's, it's a theme park, it's... but it's just, it's like a theme park where they've spent no money on it at all. <laughs> Are you doing any live stuff? Is that what you're doing? Yes, now? I've got a tour coming up, so okay. come along and I'll bring this with me. Do you and know? You can uh, rub it for luck. A couple of weeks ago. <laughs> 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 There's an incentive. Uh, a couple of weeks ago on the radio show, I had uh, Barry Cryer on. I'm sure you know Barry Cryer. He's one of the greats of British comedy. He's written for everyone. And I said Brilliant. to him, He's I said, great. Is there anyone you really like? Him? Any young talent at the moment? And he said, You know, the one who I think has really got what it takes is Ross Noble. God he bless said, A Uncle genuine, Barry. original voice, uh, a very funny man. And I think, you know, if it comes from Barry. He's brilliant, Barry Cryer. And I love him even more for okay. saying that. Well, he said it and he meant it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a uh, pleasure. Be, he's uh, one of the funniest men in the country, Mr. Ross Noble, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, right. oh, well, well, yeah. okay. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I dealt with that. <laughs> Send him back to Australia. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> 